Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the near future. It has arrived, and this is the hardcore mode Flat World Challenge. And the goal is to get 80 gold ingots, to make 20 gold blocks, to make a golden minger sponge. And the challenge is that Flat Worlds are true to their name. Let me get a shovel out here. Just to reiterate for everyone who does not know. It's very close to bedrock, so there's no mining ores. The only way to get anything is to find chests and blacksmiths and maybe other houses. I, I have not seen chests in other houses. I thought I did once, but apparently I'm wrong about that. So I don't bother exploring those other houses anymore unless I need some resources. Also, another challenge is slimes. They are freaking everywhere. But as I've become more wiser and experienced with the Flat World Challenge, I, I can handle them pretty well. Oh, there's already another NPC village. No need to do a time lapse. And is there a blacksmith? I can't tell from here. It's a weird shadow error that occasionally happens. I'm still on 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, 1.2 update has probably been out for a couple of days now, but I record these in, in several bunches. So that's why zombies and stuff don't attack doors and there's no iron golems or any of that stuff. So... Yes, I'm, I've made the last handful of episodes in a row. Blacksmith? Is there a blacksmith? Huh. That's disappointing to find such a close NPC village and there be no blacksmith. These NPCs are wasting my time. I got out of here. I need to find a workbench so I can make some more bread. There we go. I also have a lot of meat, so I'm pretty sit. I have a good situation of food. I don't like that odd piece of wheat. Get out of my way, doctor. 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 Okay, where's my breadcrumbs? I, I believe they're over this way. They are. I'll leave a little arrow to identify the direction that I need to go when I'm making my return trip. It should be fairly obvious, but sometimes you get mixed around. There really is not any kind of geographical feature to navigate by. Just why I leave these cobblestone breadcrumbs. And I'm going to do a time lapse of me running in a straight line until I find the next NPC village. Alright, so here is another NPC village, and here's a blacksmith that is within it. Oh, more obsidian. So I can now officially build a nether portal once I go back to the Flat World HQ. But that's going to be a little while. Oh, another NPC village, is that it? There is. And another blacksmith. That's cool. I don't need that chest plate. Right, well, we're gonna go straight to that other NPC village. Hopefully there'll be a blacksmith. Actually, I think I can see one. I see some smooth stone slabs in between several buildings. So that's almost like finding three blacksmiths in one small area. Oh, four. There's two here as well. 
This is the best cluster I have found yet. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. Whoa, lots of food. Well, not lots, but more than normal. And some more iron ingots. I would still prefer some... Oh, wow. I just had an outrageous idea regarding how to get gold ingots. I am going to uh, turn around and head back to the Flatwell HQ because in the nether there are zombie pigmen and they drop gold nuggets and gold nuggets can be crafted into gold ingots. So this might actually go a bit faster than expected. So it is definitely worth a trip to the nether. That said, it would certainly be dangerous trying to fight those uh, zombie pigmen and possibly ghasts. I'd probably be just running away from them. There's no point in fighting ghasts. But anyways, I'm going to do another time lapse of me returning to the Flat World HQ. All right, there it is, Flat World HQ. A couple of trees have grown. There's the incomplete nether portal that we are about to complete. I should uh, illuminate the base, is what I should do. I, it would save me the trouble I've had in the past of uh, mobs spawning, unfriendly mobs spawning around here. At least just in the immediate area around my ladder so I don't have a creeper just waiting for me and inside here as well it certainly isn't spider proof this uh, little orchard but that's okay I don't I shouldn't be in this orchard at night anyways so we're gonna complete this nether portal and go into the nether. Let's see here. I don't really need this extra bed, but I'll store it anyways. Let's just clear out all this unnecessary stuff. I'll keep some seeds. Just in case I want to grow some kind of farm. I don't need quite so many iron swords. And let's see here. I don't need these diamonds either. I can't really make anything with these diamonds. I could make a two diamond shovels, a diamond hoe, or a diamond sword, but there's no point in making a diamond sword. I just should just save it and just in case I find another diamond sometime down the road. Uh, I got some cobblestone. Cobblestone will be useful. Uh, let's see. Oh. We don't need this iron either. We'll need, definitely need this flint and steel. Alright, and we'll just do some oh, enchanting. I'll enchant these pants, so hopefully I'll be able to get a uh, some kind of fire protection enchantment. Oh, there we go. This is this regular protection, just in case I have to fight some blazes. And we're just gonna pop that there. Then we'll go kill some uh, 
zombie pigmen for their gold nuggets. Gold nuggets are actually going to be useful after all. Okay, and here we go. Oh no, this is dangerous. I just gotta hope there's no ghasts immediately. I hate spawning in the nether with these kind of danger portals. Just floating in the air. It's not the worst I've ever had. I've literally had one portal just spawn me on a small floating island that's Maybe the size of this area that I'm encircling there, and just five ghasts. It was miserable. I, I, I stood no chance at all. Alright, let's build up this safety wall so that ghasts don't blow up my portal. going to use up quite a bit of my cobblestone here, but that's okay. I normally use cobblestone as breadcrumbs in the nether as well, so that could be problematic, as I don't want to run out of cobblestone. That's good enough. I can just collect some... Why don't we do this, just to make it look cool. Uh, collect some... This stuff, what is this? Netherrack, that's right. That's what it's called. And we'll end this video once I've put a netherrack roof up here. No, this isn't going to be enough netherrack. some more. Yeah, the problem with the nether is going to be that I'm going to be using a quite a lot more cobblestone. Well, I could use wood. I could use wood as breadcrumbs. I haven't been using wood as much as I thought I would be. The only thing I ever use wood for is building workbenches, maybe some sticks, and as fuel, but I have hardly used it as fuel at all. And this roof is just so that the ghasts can't see me and shoot at me. There we go. And we'll just build another wall right here so that just in case there's any ghasts right there immediately they can't shoot at me while I'm inside. My base. Alright. If you enjoyed this video, Thank you, thank you for watching, and we'll have more Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge very soon.